Well, greetings everybody from the Dank Basement. Paul Shell, better here, your personal snuff sommelier, snuff concierge, snuff guru. No, this is not toke whiskey honey, but my friend Clay in Kansas sent me a sample of a South African snuff that I have never had before. It is called Babaton Blue. And typical of the South African snuffs, it is coarse. It smells like manure. Wait. Oh, there's a piece of paper in here. I'll pull that out. Yeah, it smells like poop. Well, not really. It's, it smells kind of farmy. It is a coarsely or medium coarse grind. Uh, when it's fresh, it's a little bit moister than this. This is not real wet anymore. Uh, this is kind of a tough sniff, but I've got a big honker, so let's find out. In the tin, it smells farmy. Uh, there's a little scent of horse manure uh, like that. Now, all of the South African snuffs, be it Taxi Red or Ensu Black, whatever, they tend to be pretty high in nicotine. Uh, Babaton Blue, I imagine, is their stronger of their available snuffs, so let's find out. And when I say stronger, I'm talking about the nick. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh yeah, farmy-licious. Actually, it doesn't smell as farmy as it just smells of really good, rich tobacco. Uh, in, the, in the tin, it smells kind of poopy, but you get it into your nose and it smells really nice. It's a really nice, basic tobacco scent. Now, I know from experience with the South African snuffs that this is going to rock my world nicotine-wise, but I'm going to take just a minute here to, um, to evaluate the nicotine. Let me grab a handkerchief here. Because I think that the forward drip on this might become profuse. Right now it's not. I took an apple seed, maybe a little larger than an apple seed-sized pinch. Yeah, it's really pleasant, actually. It smells like poop in the tin and the nose. It smells like great tobacco. There's nothing really farmy in your nose at all. A little bit of a burn, which is still there. Not much, though. Again, if this sample were just a little bit fresher out of the original tub, it would probably be a lot moister than this is. Which isn't to say this is bad. Uh, the less moisture made it a lot easier to sniff. I didn't have to shovel it into my nose with a fingertip, which I sometimes have to do with the Taxi Red as an example. Yeah, I'm starting to get the nicotine already. Yeah, good morning. So what did you guys do for New Year's Eve? Mine was incredibly boring. I went to bed at 10 o'clock. <laughs> my wife doesn't drink. I don't drink alone. And we spent New Year's Eve together alone, so there was no cocktailing going on. Uh, I didn't smoke anything stimulating either, other than a pipe of really good English tobacco. Um, so, uh, nothing, nothing really exciting. And then at midnight, I knew it was midnight because everybody in my neighborhood started blowing off fireworks. Now listen, if you guys live in a place where you don't get a blanket of snow on the ground this time of year, you will not know what I'm talking about. But when the entire world is a big reflector, you wouldn't believe uh, how beautiful fireworks can look over snow. It's absolutely incredible. And despite the fact that most of the fireworks that were going off are not legal in Minnesota, didn't seem to stop my neighbors from just going all out and blowing it out, man. So that was pretty exciting. But otherwise, it was a pretty tranquil uh, New Year's Eve. Of course, all of the bars being shut down in my state because of the reaction to COVID-19 uh, did dim things down quite a bit here. All right, the nicotine on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is nothing and 10 is way too much, with my tolerance for the size pinch I took, Rates about a six, six and a half, maybe seven. Uh, I really like the long-lasting, pleasant tobacco aroma of the Babaton Blue. 
and I think you might as well. It's not a terribly expensive snuff made in South Africa. Um, what can I say? On the squinty scale, where one is disgusting and five is delicious, and I'm basing my quality uh, rating on comparisons with other South African snuffs, this rates for me at best a three, but you might like it better. If you can get a hold of some, don't turn it down, but I wouldn't go out of my way looking for it either. Three out of five on the squinty scale. We're going to give it a six or seven on the nicotine scale. From the Dank Basement, again, wishing you a happy new year. I'm Paul Shelbetter. You take care of yourself. God bless.